All right, guys, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. It's 2021. I'm still here. With all the craziness still going on, but I thought I'd take a walk today. It's actually a pretty decent day for being early January, actually mid January. I can't believe this month's almost close to being over. 2021 is going by quicker, we think, right? <laughs> but, anyways, about to hit up Walmart. And I hope you guys hear me. I got my mask on. I probably should pull it down. Hopefully, you guys can hear me better now, but. Yeah, I'm gonna do something different. This is not gonna be just a toy. Well, it'll be a toy hunt, but I don't know. I'm gonna rename my toy hunt series for a while, at least until I can actually go to Target again or Walmart. I kind of think of this like as a What's in My Walmart series. Maybe see if I can find some wrestling figures, Pokemon cards, just, I don't know, maybe anything. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna cross the street here soon. I don't wanna be filming on my phone while I'm trying to cross the street. I wanna make sure I'm paying that traffic. So, guys, I will see y'all inside Walmart. Alright, so now I've crossed the street. I'm at Walmart and you guys probably haven't seen me at Walmart in a while, but Walmart's got a fresh coat of paint. You'll probably see it here shortly. It was actually, I want to say back in October they did all this, but they've been doing a lot of re, you know, reset and basically, and I know a lot of Walmarts all over the country have been doing that. Of course, you know, still living in a crazy time of this pandemic. And boy, no pandemic's going to stop people from coming here. I remember I came here like, like a week before Christmas and this place was packed. Maybe not as packed today, but I don't know. We'll find out. Hope I can get in with no problem. And maybe, like I said, see if I can find anything. So, guys, yeah. I'm actually going to stop recording here in a moment. And we'll see if I find anything. Maybe just give you all a good look at the Walmart from the outside, maybe. Like I said, you know, it's been repainted since I was last year. But, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I think I'll just call that good right here. And I'll see you all inside. So, here's the figure aisle. <laughs> Nothing. Two Elite Miss Elizabeth nobody wants. Roman Reigns, Master Universe, but well, they got these. <sighs> but really nothing. Booker T and Bobby Lashley here. Randy Orton, John Cena, and Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss. But yeah, nothing. AEW ring. Master of the Universe WWE ring. <sighs> of course, I haven't seen Power Rangers figures here in a while. And look, you want to see there's a Pokemon cards? Nope. And this is not even the pull-on section, which I'm wondering if the pull-on section will even have anything in it. Probably not. So I'm going to find some vid voltage blisters. But yeah, this is it. And even the Legos look like they're cleaned out. Unless my Walmart's getting ready to do a reset, there's nothing. Yeah, make your collection elite. Huh, collection elite my butt. Ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, even the Legos are cleaned out. That's crazy. <sighs> wow. I mean, there's some DC figures, barely any Marvel, and this is terrible. So I'm in the collector section, and so far, the only thing I find Pokemon related is an Eevee Pop. In fact, I think that might be the only Pokemon Pop they have here. And there's the Rebels Eevee Pop of Chi-Chi. Oh, wow. That Steven Tyler is creepy. Walk this way! <laughs> yeah, no WWE ones, though. I never find WWE. Oh, there's both Magneto and Professor Xavier. That's cool. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot else I really care about, really. I mean, Eevee and the Chi-Chi are the only ones I see I actually want, I would like. There's another Eevee right here. Yeah, nothing down here. Like I said, no WWE Funkos. Oh, there's LeBron James, and wow. That's like they have a chase of him as well. Oh, wow, Zombie Magneto. Hmm, so that's really it for the fun. Oh, hey, there's Vaporeon. It'd be cool if there was a Jolteon. Jolteon's my favorite of the Evolutions, but hmm. Yeah, I just see Vaporeon and, and Eevee. Uh, not a whole lot else I really care about here. I mean, that fig pin Raphael is pretty cool, and there's one of Michelangelo, but I don't really collect those. Oh, there's Baby Yoda, or Groda, Grogu, whatever his name is. Can't get enough of seeing Baby Yoda, apparently. I'll still call him Baby Yoda, I don't care. Pulling Dynamite. Huh, they made figures of him. <laughs> of course, I see Lord of the Rings, and... 
Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, wow. Let's see. I see a, a Lone Durable Super Figure. Yep, oh, Android 17. I already have that. And, well, nothing really NECA's I care about. If there was Ninja Turtles, I'd care, but... Yeah, I just see, like, It and Hellraiser and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Child's Play, but nothing else I really care about. I don't really care about these, to be honest. Wow, I mean... It's better than the figure aisle, but... Yeah, really nothing. I mean... I guess this this is pretty cool. It's kind of a chibious Vegeta doing like a Gallic gun. Huh. I think that's his move. There's the back of the Goku. I'd like to find him and Trunks. Hmm. Cool. But yeah, nothing else. Oh, hey, the game. You ever play this game? The one where you can customize your private part? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool figure, though. But not a lot really else I care about here. Well, yeah, Deadpool's always cool to look at. <laughs> okay, well, that's really for the clothes aisle. Now, let's see if I can film one more aisle that I'm not looking forward to looking at because I know how it's been for the last few months. And of course, get ready to be disappointed. Besides the trainer's toolkit, the only thing that's Puma related here, and of course, little thieves, ain't just a scalpers. People don't stop saying it's just scalpers doing this. Cause look, this is sad. Walmart needs to put these in somewhere in like the trunk section again. Wow, nothing. Nothing for Pokemon. Nothing for wrestling. Or football, or baseball, or basketball. This is sad, man. This is the kind of stuff that makes me want to stop even trying to come to Walmart for this stuff. This is cool and all, but I'm thinking I'm going to pass on it because... Besides, a, yeah, it's a pa I mean, it's got like four packs in there, but it's really at this point not to find any one cards. It's like, man, it's, this really is sad. It really is. All right, so check out the clearance. I don't expect to find anything clearance. Just some DC here. We got some Batman Robins and Killer Croc. Of course, plenty of Star Wars and G.I. Joes here. I'll see like Halo and Fortnite. But not a whole lot else for figures. Which, of course, no wrestling cards on clearance. And even even dolls, like, shoot, Barbie for like $235. <laughs> I don't know which one. These prices don't seem to really match up unless you look at the barcodes, but yeah. That's like cheaper than what the dollar stores want to sell Barbies for. <laughs> But yeah, not a whole lot in the clearance aisle, but not as disappointed as the figure aisle or, oh god, the Pokemon card aisle. Ugh. This is a terrible time. Maybe I came at the wrong time. Maybe even February they'll restock. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But yeah, not a lot. And also, I want to show you all something real quick. Uh, I was looking at bike stuff, and I did not even know this existed. <laughs> you could put Legos on your helmet. That's something. I don't know if I'd want to, but <laughs> yeah. But I thought I'd show that to you guys real quick, but yeah, not really much to look at the clearance, and I'm all right with that. Just sucks, can't find anything else. Man. It's already 2021, can you believe it? Okay, so, obviously, this video's coming out just, you know, you know, midway through January. We've already been to 2021 for now, a little over two weeks. Nothing's really changed, obviously. Yeah, they're starting to roll out that vaccine for that stupid virus. Which, uh, I'm not going to talk about that, really, because let's try to... Let's leave, oh, COVID out of this, but hopefully everybody's being safe. Do what you're supposed to do. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Especially when you're out in public. Now, um... I didn't really have high hopes I was going to find anything anyway. And it's not because of the pandemic, but it's more because... After Christmas, my Walmart doesn't really have anything, at least until really late January... Maybe early to mid-February, so... I just haven't done a video in a while. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video. Now, of course, this kind of was a toy hunt video, but not really. So, that's why it's not going to be a toy hunt or RC video, because... I don't know. Since I mostly only go to my Walmart anymore, I don't really go to any other Walmarts or any Targets or anywhere else outside. You know what? I'm going to put the toy hunt series on a break for the time being. This will kind of count as toy hunting, but not really, because I'll also look at other stuff. I was thinking about maybe... I'll Looking at clothes for the heck of it, and maybe try to film a few other things like electronics art in the collector section. But I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna film a few things for now. And uh, yeah, as you guys saw, uh, 
Action figures, a little disappointed with the Pokemon card section. Oh my gosh, Pokemon. I'm like, really? It's like, it's. I've been back into the hobby now for almost a year, and I can't believe how much it's blown up. I mean, it's a good thing, but as you guys saw, it's not just the scalpers getting into it. Also, little thieves like to open up stuff, but whatever. So, I think I'm going to show you guys my pickups, because I did buy some stuff. I didn't really buy any figures, obviously. I wanted to. Well, I did buy some kind. Of, if you want to call them figures in a way, I'll show them here in a moment. But, yeah, um, of course, the Hot Wheels section was probably the only section that was probably the most stocked of anything. And the only reason I didn't film the Hot Wheels section, because since seems like anywhere I go at Walmart, the Hot Wheels always has at least one person there. Would be a person there, like a nerd collector or a parent with their kid. Like, it's like, man, I feel awkward. It's like, at least in the figure section or, like, in the collector's aisle, I can film with no problem. And then the train cards, I try to be careful when the employee don't catch me. But but the Hot Wheels, man, I mean, Hot Wheels were well-stocked probably more than anything else. But, you know, it's Hot Wheels. You, when they go for at least a dollar, you know, for the standard ones. Which, that'll be one of the pickups I'll show you guys here in a moment. So, first, something that's not correlated, but, hey, it relates to what I'm into. Of course, besides wrestling, I like my Power Rangers. So, I was like, you know what, I'll pick up Power Rangers shirt. I saw this. Can't go wrong with the original team. The original, you know, six of MMPR. It's Morphin' Time. Try to get in the shot, but yeah, very cool. The original six Rangers, Tommy, Jason, Billy, Zach, Kimberly, and Trini. Oh, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. Awesome shirt. I need some more shirts because I don't really buy as much clothing as I should. But I was like, you know, why not? So, of course, I love my Mustangs. I was like, why not? I'll, it was the only one I saw that was interesting. You know, hey, I love my Mustangs. I'd like to have an actual one someday, but for now, hey, not maybe not this one in particular. I don't know if I'd be afford this. But yeah, very nice. I was like, uh, pretty cool looking. Let y'all read that a little. I I can't really read it from my angle. I want to say it says Mal Malta's Motors. Mal I don't know how what that says, but pretty cool. The closest thing to figures I could find that I was like, you know what, screw it. I don't collect much of these, but I'm going to buy some anyway. First, picked up an Eevee Funko Pop. Of course, you guys know I love my Pokemon. And this is going to be the first non-wrestling Funko Pop I have in my collection. And I only have like three to begin with. I have like Alexa Bliss, Razor Ramon, and then an AJ Lee that I got at uh, SmackDown back in like 2014. Man, how I miss live shows. Thunder Dome ain't the same. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, you know, I'm going to pick it up. Of course, they also had the Vaporeon. And then I didn't notice till later. There was Mr. Mine, but I was like, eh. And I really want that Jolteon, though. That would be the one I want to get. And, you know, I would have picked the, the, the Vaporeon. And if they would have Flareon, I mean, maybe at some point I might pick up the Air Evolutions. But I was like, definitely got to get Eevee. I was like, Eevee looks so cute. The other one, you know what? I'm a Dreadball Z fan. Now, of course, it's not Goku or Vegeta or Trunks or Gohan. But, you know, hey. Goku's wife, Chi Chi. I was like, you know, screw it. I was like, I'll, 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 I'll buy this. I mean, yeah, I know. So there's everybody else in the back. Of course, I would like to, would love to find Goku or Vegeta or Goten, Raditz. I see him like there. Oh, Kid Buu, Frieza. I mean, Vegeta, Nappa, Court. You know, hey, any of those. I'm surprised Gohan's not listed on here, but I guess for whatever wave this is. But still, I was like, you know what? Pick these, pick this up for the heck of it. I wish there would have been more, but I was like, oh well. So that's it for basic, basic toy purchases that you guys would usually see on this channel. Now, something else I've been getting back into besides Pokemon. Well, actually, I got back into Legos a while back. Uh, I feel like it doesn't matter how old you are, you can't go wrong with Legos. I mean, I've loved Legos since I was a kid, and I just kind of felt like you know, it's a good hobby to do in quarantine when I don't feel like getting out of the house. So I'm like. Some of those classic sets. So I just picked up like an RV from the Lego City line for the heck of it. So I don't know if I'm doing this in a video maybe or if I'll do it on a live stream. on Because this isn't really a Lego channel. But if you guys would be interested in seeing me build Legos, let me know. Um, I know it's not the usual wrestling figure or trading card videos. But you know what? This is my channel. I do what I want with it. So I may just do it off camera. But I thought it was still pretty cool. And then I had to pick up one of these because, you know, I... Like, I bought, like, some Lego sets at my family dollar. Like, the, like there's, like, a, one that has, like, a, you can build a lighthouse and build, like, all sorts of other stuff. And I just, hey, I love Legos. You can build whatever the heck you want. I wish they still sold, like, the castle Legos from when I was a kid. But, you know, they, they had lots of good Legos, even if there wasn't a whole lot of stock. I mean, there was a decent selection at my Walmart. I mean, definitely, like, a lot of the Marvel and Star Wars and whatever else they had were probably cleaned out. But, uh, Oh, well, you know, they still have a decent amount. I mean, thought about buying more of those classic ones, you know, just the standard Legos, but hey, maybe in the future I might 
like I said, if you guys want to see Lego building live streams or videos, just let me know. I, mean, I, might, I might do it for the heck of it. And now, finally, because, yes, one of the most disappointing things was the Bone Guard Isle. There was one thing. There was two of it in stock. And I thought, no, I'm not going to buy it. Then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm buying it. The Trainer Toolkit. Now, of course, I will be able to on my editor channel, RHCTCG. Link will be in the description. Or you can wait to see, you know, if there's a card flashes or, or you know, anything at the end of the video. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. This comes with um, a bunch of trainer cards. Including a like what's like some alternate arts, and then there's like a the Dene alternate art card in here, and also four booster packs. If I remember, Sword and Shield was in there, and um, I want to say Unbroken Bonds and or maybe Rebel Clash. I can't remember. So, if you like pulling card videos, go check out my other channel, R E C T C G. That's where I will be opening it. I won't do it here because this is like I said, I mostly focus on wrestling. Unless you know, like I said, I might do other toy videos for the heck of it, but. I don't know. I kind of thought about bringing my point cards back to this channel, but I'm just like I said, I'm just keeping on the RCT channel, and I'll try to be active there when I can find point cards. Yeah, seeing like I said, that was this point. Seeing that open sleeve from a booster pack. I mean, I even saw like Yu-Gi-Oh cards were getting cleaned out, and there was like an open thing of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm like, wow, A little savages, but whatever. It's nothing new. It's it's been going on for like 20 plus years, and oh well. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna put this down real quick. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, it's going to be just a different series. I actually kind of want to thank somebody for inspiration. Um, a channel actually I gave a shout out a while back to, um, Nostalgic. Spelled N-A-Z and then Nostalgic, you know, like Nostalgic. But he has like this series called What's My Target. So I was like, you know what? I'm sure there's other people do videos like this. So I'm going to do a What's in My Walmart. Because I always go to one Walmart more than anywhere, anywhere else. Because it's the closest one to where I live. So I was like, you know what? I don't know if it'll be a regular series. I might not go for, like, for another month. But, you know, just do something different besides the Toy Hunts of RC series until I can kind of figure out how to do that again when things get back to normal a little bit when I actually want to go to other Walmarts and Targets and anywhere else. But for now, that's just something new. And hopefully I can bring back trading card videos at some point because of wrestling. Maybe do wrestling figure unboxings again. And just, you know, whatever else. And I'll try to do live streams. I'm still debating if I'm going to live stream the Royal Rumble. I just haven't been really watching WWE Network as of late. I'm not even subscribed to it right now. And... The fact they're not even going to do fans, they're going to still do the Thunderdome, kind of like, eh, I don't know. But I may, I may still watch the Rumble. I might. I don't know. But anyways, I'm done. I want to thank you all for watching. Of course, if you, hit the, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you want to, if you want to see videos like this. Heck, like I said, if you want to see Lego videos, let me know. I might start doing them. And, of course, check out my other channel if you like pulling card opens. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, rock on, keep collecting, and as always, stay safe.